I don't think we need to think about it in terms of one currency replacing another like we've had before. Uh, I don't see any currency today in the world that can uh, fill the shoes of the dollar. I really don't. Uh, but what I do see is a more of a currency multipolarity in the sense that uh, we're moving from a one currency system to a multi uh, currency system, um, which for the United States is not ideal because it means that there'll be even if another five currencies that will uh, bite a certain market share of the dollar, the result will be that the demand for dollar will decline, uh, which is where my concern is that if the demand for dollar declines, that means that we it's harder to, uh, uh, you know, um, sell those bonds and uh, keep the low interest rates, etc. So all of these things are going to happen even if there is not uh, one currency that steps in and, and replaces the dollar. Right. I, I think we need to look at it as a more of a, a unipolar system that is being replaced by a multipolar system. Right. But there are things we can do, and you outline them in the book, things we can do to mitigate the risks. Can you share a couple of things? You start off with reduced deficits and debts, but you also listed some other things that we as a nation could do that would lessen the impact over time. Well, the most important thing is to understand that there is a problem. And I, I don't think that kind of, uh, that has not da dawned on Washington. I don't think that Washington gets it, um, the fact that there is even a problem. Uh, I think that there, the sense in Washington is a, a collective sense of invincibility. You're right. Uh, basking in the glory mm -hmm. of our no financial um, hegemony and etc. And um, this kind of message is not uh, very popular at the moment because things from the outside look uh, look great, and uh, people look at the things like the, the equity markets uh, record high and so forth. But these are not the indicators that I look at it uh, from a macroeconomic perspective, and certainly not in the long run. Um, and long run, by the way, is not 100 years or 50 years. It, I'm talking uh, five to 10 five years. To 10. I think we, we'll, we'll see a lot of trouble. Yep. Um, so um, what we need to do is, first of all, uh, again, recognize the problem, uh, and tweak the uh, bureaucracy in Washington in a way that we have a good uh, handle of the situation, that we monitor gold movements, we monitor... Uh, um, currency movements, and we get a good sense. We use uh, intelligence agencies to have a better understanding of this. Uh, incorporate more uh, economic economists, and uh, you know our our uh, foreign policy bureaucracy and, and defense bureaucracy is uh, has a, a lot of emphasis in, on geopolitics. Uh, we uh, I don't think that Washington understands geoeconomics as well as it does uh, geopolitics. And the world today is all about geoeconomics, not so much geopolitics anymore. Uh, I also think we need to pay attention to technology uh, because the currency world is changing with new uh, technological developments like blockchain and uh, uh, cryptocurrencies and central bank uh, digital currencies. Uh, so, you know, things are changing. And the most important thing is to understand that the world is not static. Um, you cannot just sit on your laurels and think that everything that happened in the past 50 years will continue into the next 50 years. Right. That's not how history works. You know, you have to sort of move with the flow and uh, adapt and also look uh, inward into um, your own uh, uh, behavior and decisions. And the thing I'm most concerned about is, is, as I said, the deficit and the debt, because I think in the end of the day, uh, when you look at all the other currencies, um, you look at the British Empire and the French and all the things that happened in the past five, six hundred years, it's always the same story. You get overstretched and overburdened with debt. And then one day, uh, like Hemingway said, you know, it gets gradually and then suddenly. Yep. And I think that we are now at the gradual stage, but after gradually comes suddenly and, and, and bankruptcy comes at some point if you don't pay attention.